everybody doing? We are live, and this is an update on the action of our 67 Camaro interior. I think we found a solution for it. And Minnie the Body Shop Girl is going to camera person. How you doing? Doing all right today? Doing all right. Okay, let's get on with the subject here, and uh, we got a couple other things to talk about first. <laughs> okay, so um, I had to go to the dentist today. I actually had a crown put on. Now, I'm going to tell you about dentistry. You really got to watch who you let do dentistry to. Finding a good dentist is very hard to do. I think I found a very good dentist after 55 years of my life. <coughs> what do you think? <coughs> Let's hope so, so for good God's sake. He seems sake. like he's very honest and trustworthy. He actually found, I had a crown on this tooth. He actually found a cavity underneath the crown. This crown over here, that's not even a year and a half old. I had, I had to get a new crown on that because there's a hole in the bottom of it. And it's leaking. And I got to get that done ASAP. Or I'm going to have to get an implant like I had to do on this tooth that I spent five, four, five thousand dollars on with root canals and fillings and, 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 um, crowns and all this other shit. And it lasted two or three years and it completely fell off. So now I end up paying $3,500 okay, for okay, a crown. Stop a minute. This fucking started at 6 a.m. this morning. Are we really going to fucking go on some more? Do what? Bitching about your fucking teeth. You started at 6 a.m. this morning. Can we be done I with I just them? wanted to start off the situation. In a bad foot? No. Bad note? There's no bad foot fucking nothing. I'm just starting it off with what's going on over here at DIY Auto School. Do it yourself action. Yeah. That's what it's all about. A do-it-yourself action world. Well, he ain't doing his own dentistry, thank God. Believe me, if I could, I would. Watch out. Move. You know, I'm just trying to tell everybody the action here all and right. lay it down to them that it's hard to find a good dentist. All right, Pete, come on. Look at this teeth right here. Look. Look at it. I don't want to look at no, it. No, I want you to look at I it. I don't fucking want to look at it. Do you see that black dot? That's an implant. Yeah, and you'll that costs, get a tooth on I got uh, $2,000 in that teeth, and I don't even have a teeth. Yeah. Look at these ones back here. Yeah, and you see those implants? You could have had teeth on I got like eight you implants, and I only have three teeth it? in my mouth you that actually uh, implants that have teeth on them. You want me to say it? What? You could have had teeth. Okay, and how's that? Go ahead. Uh, when you got that free, free uh, what, that money, that windfall of money, you could have bought your teeth with that. I got a uh, 12 foot uh, totem pole. Instead of teeth. Uh, that would have not have paid for my teeth. Now I could have told you I could have got teeth. And that's the next story if you bring it over here. I could have told, I could tell you. See, that's what I was leading into. See, you're reading my mind. Yeah. We've been together too long. Exactly. Uh, so many said I could have got teeth if I wouldn't have got my totem pole and Fred the bear. If nobody knows what that is, I don't know what to tell you because we're not going to go over there and look at that because she'll get pissed off. Well, I don't want to bring it into the story. Okay, that, keep going. Okay, let's go ahead and show them the totem pole. Since you brought it up. Come on. Okay, so everybody knows that wood carving and log carving is a pretty cool idea, right? Yeah. Okay, so what happened is I got too. this money. Uh, my stepdad died, piece of shit that he was. Um, and in the will, the house was to be sold because it was actually my mom's house. And then when she died... He actually moved his girlfriend in not even a week after my mom was buried, which my mom was a piece of shit too. But that's another story. We don't want to go into all that, do we? So the whole situation basically was a piece of shit. Well, when this guy fucking finally dies, there's a will that my mom wrote up and said that um, the house has to go up for sale and then everybody that uh, is alive, all the kids, they get to split it uh, evenly. So I got this money, and instead of actually doing so, I said, you know what? Fuck it. It's free money. I'm going to do something with it. Come on over here. Let's look at this, okay? And he bitches every day that he doesn't have teeth. Go on over here on this side of my little buddy. He's the only one that doesn't argue with me. Yeah. My buddy Fred, 
I can stand in front of my window right here and he will not argue with me. You should marry him. This is Fred the bear. Marry him. Okay. Why is his name Fred? Because camera person decided that's what he, she wanted his name to be. And I agreed with her. So I, it's Fred, Fred the bear. Now, most people, when they get a bear card, they don't show the back of the bear. So why should I have a bear that's carved when I'm sitting in my office where I'm looking at him like this in the mirror? So I figured, you know what? I'm going to have him where he's actually looking in the window. And you can see right. Can you bring the camera over here? Kind of show his face a little bit. There you go. So there's Fred the bear, people. So um, I had my buddy Jim Valentine look him up on Facebook. What is it called? Valentine I don't know. Valentine Carving. I don't I know. I think it's called Valentine Carving or something. I don't have Facebook. I don't know. Okay, but he's an awesome dude. If you're in this area and you need something carved, this is the guy to do it. I love Fred. Fred is my buddy. Come on over here. Look what we got. We got a 12-foot Alaskan totem pole, people. Cheese steak really good. Alaskan totem pole. This thing weighs over See a thousand. See those teeth? Huh? Yeah. What? It's got big teeth. This thing weighs over a thousand pounds. I bet it can chew up the steak. And you know really what we good. forgot to do today when we were at the dentist? You didn't even did you put it on the Home Depot list? Shellac? Nope. I gotta get some shellac so I can shellac this. Yep. Now my buddy Jim carved this, but I painted it. Okay. So that gets a lot of action over here at SWRC uh, Utah. And it's a beautiful situation. Beautiful. Let me go ahead and explain why I did this. Because that money that I got on this bullshit, uh, what do we call that? What is that called? Uh, uh, inheritance. I wanted to throw the money away because I don't give a fuck about that money. Okay. So I figured, you know, I'll throw it away Asinine. on this shit. And then I'll look at it and guess what? Sooner or later, eventually this thing's going to rot and, and fall apart. You still don't have teeth. Okay. Awesome. Asinine. Yeah. Okay. So let me close this down. Hang on. <laughs> So everybody knows the story. Now, come on in here. We got one more fucking thing to look at. Now, I got this right here. I had this done. And then uh, I went ahead. There's my carving up there. That's, that's pretty good, too. That's my take on carving. It's a, ha it's a smiling moon with a star. Now, this is going in my aunt's backyard. This is a very, very big present that she is so you excited about. You better hope about. she doesn't see this. I hope she doesn't. But that's going in her backyard. Now, let me show you what else. You see, my aunt, I love my Aunt Glory. She's my godmother from uh, the day I was born. So um, I don't think we can go in here because we'll probably lose connection. But if you kind of look in the corner, there's a, a vulture. There's a vulture in the back. Now, she's going to get that too. But on top of this, once I bury it in the ground about two feet. I'm not going to show that anymore because she might be watching. I'm going to put a birdhouse on it. Okay, so now we know the situation, okay? And you're right. I could have got teeth with that, but it wouldn't have been enough to get the teeth that I need. Because uh, what, what body shop girl camera person behind the camera isn't telling you is that we have two outstanding credit cards that are almost five years old that we still owe a lot of fucking money on because well, of my have, teeth. We could have paid them off one or the other. No, we teeth couldn't have done or the that. Credit card, we couldn't have done that. Either. We couldn't have done that. Yes, we could have. No, we couldn't uh, have. Let's just get on with it. So I'm ready to go inside, the man. So over here. Come on over here. Then we're going to get on with the main story. Oh, um, God. I wasted my money on this thing. I'm going to go ahead and tell yeah. you. <laughs> okay. That's an understatement. Okay. This is where I should have got my teeth. Instead of putting money into this pile of shit, okay, look at the engine over here. All right, you see where the engine is? I got a car show to go to in about a week and a half. I call Apple Tree. This was last a week from fr last Friday. Yeah, this started at 6 a.m., people. I called Apple Tree Auto Parts and ordered a fucking flywheel for my fucking engine. Stay cool, yeah, uh huh, sure. I didn't see it. It's not here. I don't have it. Where's it at? That's you know right. where it's at? He has no chill. It's That's still right. at the empty factory waiting to be shipped to Apple Tree. Even though they sent me an email that said your order has been shipped, 
They don't even have the fucking flywheel. But Pete wanted him to shit it out the phone this morning when he was talking to him. That's right. Yeah. Well, it pisses me off. You order shit, yeah. they send you an email. Okay, Pete, come on, man. They sent an email and said it was I've, shit. I've been listening I'm to him scream fucking, about this I'm since 6 fucking a.m. this morning. Since 6 a.m. this morning, people, I've been listening to Pete. Bitch and holler, bitch and fucking holler about this. So that's why I don't even to want to be to out a here. Car show, people. Who gives a fuck? You've been to a million car shows. Who I'm cares? trying to take Money Pit to a car show Who up cares? in Grand Junction. It's called. Yeah. And this car has made us had how many arguments? How many? Okay, well. How many? How many? What's the name of the car show at Grand Junction? Uh, who cares? Or is it Fruit to Colorado? Where's it called? It's called the Headless Chicken Car Show. Yeah. Mike the Headless Chicken or some bullshit. I was mm. taking it there. whoop -de wow But uh, back to the teeth thing. If a uh, camera person wouldn't have fucking butted me in, we could have already been on the main story and down the road. This is where I should have got my teeth. This is where I should have. Okay, if this fucking doesn't fix this car... I'm going to call the previous owner, and I'm going to give him the opportunity to buy it. He ain't going to buy it. I I'm going to give him the opportunity tea. to buy it. Tea. Well, he's, he oh, not he'll buy, buy it. it. No, he won't. Not for the price I'm no, going to want. He will not. He will not. He will not. He will not. He's already got one. Come on over here. we got a GTO sitting here. And I'm going to be blunt. I'm tired of being babysitter. I'm tired of being storage unit. I'm tired of working on the owner's time on the cars when I'm not making no money because this is my full-time job. This is it. And when it is sitting here not being worked on, I'm not making money. All this is doing, watch this, is being a dust collector, collecting dust. So I basically set my foot down to the owner and I, you know, if he's watching this, I'm sorry. The situation has come to an end. We need parts. If you don't have the money for the parts, the body is going on the frame. I am bolting your body parts on it and it's gonna go out that door right there. I'm sorry. Now, we talk about this. Uh, the interior looks like shit. Many the body shop girl camera person is the one that went and picked this stuff up. And I did not pay him. She did not pay him, thank God. Um, this is not a professional interior job. Uh, we were going to go ahead, if you notice, I packed everything up nice and neat. And I was going to go ahead and bolt the seats in the car, put the back seat in there, throw all the shit in the car and tell them, do it when you get it to England or wherever the fuck, yeah, UK. I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to leave the guy blindsided. Um, this is partially my fault because he has put his vehicle into my hands. Am I right or wrong? Just keep on with your fucking story, Pete. I'm ready to go inside. Okay. So um, I decided that I would try to find another shop to do this. Well, I just happened to find another shop to do this. Now, this is the kicker. The shop that I'm going to have do it is backed up until mid to end of July which really ain't no big deal because I still got to paint the car and do all the other shit to it. But he said, if I can get him over there, he'll go ahead and do it. Now, the other problem is, is that from the original price that this guy gave me, okay, he's going to do it for $200 more. He's going to fix all the bolsters on the seat, the bolsters that are fucked up. He's going to go ahead and pad this repad them, re-burlap them, do everything to the seats to make them brand new. And I asked him, I said, okay, let me ask you something. If I bring those seats, he said, who did that? Did you do that? 
I see this all the time. Did you do it? Fuck no, I didn't do it. If I, if I did it, it would never look like that. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, so he's going to do this for $200 more than the first guy is doing it for. And I asked him, I said, if I bring all this up here, because it's almost 200 miles away where I got to go, am I right? Yep. Are you going to call me a week or two later and tell me a different price? He goes, no. I've done this a hundred times. I know exactly what to do and I know exactly what's wrong. You're not the first rodeo that I've fucking rode in. So we are going to take this interior to him and have it done. The owner will have to pay an extra $200 to whatever the price was. It ain't your business what we're paying for it. That's the deal. Now, the other deal is, is come over here. Do you understand why this is called Money Pit Nail? You want to go ahead and tell everybody about driving in the fucking thing? No. No, go ahead. Pete, I don't want to talk about that car. The only way that I we're going to be able to drive in it. I don't give a flying fuck about that car. Okay, the only way that we can drive in this car is I'm going to have to buy a set of $375 well, we, earmuffs with a little microphone so we can, can talk. And okay. you can forget that. And you can forget that because we ain't doing that, Pete. Okay, let me say this. To so ride we in can, it one time, because that would be all I'm riding in it. So we can argue back and forth. Exactly. Fuck that. I'll yeah. stay home. Fucking ass. Did I tell you about these hoods? They're obsolete. Hey, I'm fixing to go in the house. Did I tell you about the up. hood? It's obsolete. I don't know what. I'm going to have to fix the fucking thing, I guess. Yeah. Okay. The other good news is I talked to the upholstery guy that I went to. When I went into his shop, he had a 69 GTO in there that was completely fully restored. And they were putting all full interior in it. So I asked him, I said, can you put the headliner? I showed him a picture of it on my phone. Can you put the headliner in this and go ahead and put the front and the rear glass in? He said, the only way I'm going to do it is if the windshield's brand new. I will not put a used windshield in a car. It looks like shit. I said, well, it's going to be brand new. And he said, yeah, I can do that. But he can't do that. He said, I can't do that until after the, uh, the, after July. He's backed up till July and you'll have to get in line and I will have to take this car over to get that done. I am not going to do it. I don't want to do it. I found a guy that'll do it. We don't do interior. And that's one reason I'm not in doing it. Nowhere in our name does it say upholstery or okay. interior. And that's one reason I'm not doing it is because I don't want camera person arguing with me and I want to be able to go to sleep at night without headaches. Okay. It ain't got nothing to do with me, Pete. Okay. Oh, so you want to do it? If I have to do it, I'll go ahead and do it. Here, give me... Uh, okay, hold on. We're not done. Take the fucking camera. I can't believe you even fucking said that, you fucking liar. No, I didn't lie about nothing. Yeah. I told you do if it. we have do to do it. this then car, it'll be the last fucking then interior I job I will do. ever do. Go ahead and do it. I said I'm that. leaving if you do. I won't be here. Okay. So anyway, we're going to take it over to the, to okay, now. so we're going to take it, listen to me, people, we're taking it to the upholstery shop. <laughs> Camera person isn't going anywhere. Yeah. Camera person ain't going anywhere, because she just heard what I said. Divorce is in the air. She, you just heard what I said. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, okay, well, let's speed this up and get this over with now, Pete. Okay, thank you. We'll see you later, camera person, Minnie. Goodbye. Where are you going? I thought you were going in the house. I am, Pete. I gotta get my stuff. All right, see you later. Wow. That's all I can say. Uh, you know, I didn't even say I was doing it. I said if I had to, if it really got down to the nitty gritty, I would go ahead and do it. That's what I said. I didn't say I was gonna do it. So, yeah, you see what I gotta deal with the rest of the night. <sighs> So anyway, um, okay, she's gone. 
All right, so we basically went all over all the jobs in my shop. Um, I'm actually, uh, I got several people in line that want me to do work. Want me to do work. I got to get this shit out of my shop. And that's one problem right there. That's one of the problems that we got to get out of the shop. And I checked this guy out. Uh, he's a reasonable person. He actually has a shop. He doesn't work out of his house. Um, his dad started the business back in the 50s or the late, early 60s, I'm sorry, mid 60s. And then the son took over. Um, and now the son runs the place. And he's about my age. And it seems like he knows what he's doing and can get the job done for us. So we got our seats. Uh, I have to order some parts for them. Um, I want to order the covers that go on the sides. I want to order the uh, chrome buttons. Um, I got to order the rubber stoppers and all that. And I want to make sure I get that, try to get that before he does the seats. So he has everything there to do the seats with. And the job will be done, basically. So this was just an update of what's going on. And um, am I going to make the car show? I don't know. I'd really want to go to this car show. It would be like a christening for my friend Pete and Money Pit to go to the car show and, and be there amongst all the other show car guys. I was really excited. And, you know, I don't know if it's going to happen. Um, I mean, I could actually take the old flywheel. I could take the old flywheel that's over there. That I, uh, I, It's in that box. I could put it on there. But then, you know, that would be stupid to stick the old flywheel on it just so I can go to a car show and then have to pull the engine out again. And I don't think I'm going to do that. I really, really don't. Um, I know everybody's over there telling me, you know, be nice to Minnie and rah, rah, rah and all that. Well, you know, come on, guys. <laughs> okay. You know. Let me ask you this. Can you feel sorry for me? Is there any way that you can do that? Just, you know, this one time. Look at all the shit that I got to put up with right here. Look at the shit I got to put up with. <laughs> you know, it's bullshit, people. It's bullshit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye here. We actually just got back off the road um, from going to the dentist. I want to get into... Okay, Joe Mama said no. I guess nobody's going to feel sorry for me. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. No problem. Let me do this. Uh, that's what's going to happen with the interior. We're going to take it over and get the interior done by this other guy. And he seems like an honest Joe dude. Or, you know, I mean, what are you going to do, you know? You got to get the shit done. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that. Take it easy. My friend Pete, your friend Pete. We'll see you later. Uh, and I hope everybody has a better day and a better situation than what I'm going through right now. Take it easy, guys.